Hey, this is Groovy with Colorado Music Buzz on Hollywood Music TV, and I'm here with Paul and Alex from Cannibal Corpse, and we're at Fiddler's Green for Mayhem 2009. How's it going, guys? Great. Right on. Right on. Awesome. Great, so... 90 degrees, but a little bit cooler than it's been the past couple days, so we're really happy. You were telling me about Phoenix just before. How'd that go? Um, the show was great. You know, we had a great time. Awesome crowd. Um, just the heat. You know, there was a, there was a, a lot of heat. It was like 116 degrees. There was a dust storm actually right before we played. A minor dust storm that managed to bring a little bit of shade in. You know, all the dust floating around actually gave us a little shade when we played. So it might have only been about 105 when we played, something like that. But, it's not bad. Were you like frying food on the stage while you're playing? You probably could have. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So how's the rest of the tour going so far? It's been great, man. It's been great. We're, we're very happy to be on this tour. Great bill, of course. Playing with Slayer every night. It's a dream come true for us. So uh, this has been an awesome tour. That's awesome. And you guys have a new album came out in February. This right. visceration plague. If I can learn how to speak. <laughs> How's that going for you? That's going great as well. I mean, uh, our biggest seller to date out of the gate. You know, we sold 10,000 copies. I mean, our biggest release, like I said, to date. And, uh, you know, the fans seem to really, really like it. So we're happy as can be. So what did you do for this album that made it the biggest release? Um, it's hard to, to say exactly what it could be. It's probably a few different things. You know what I mean? Like, um, we had done a big tour in 2006 in on the United States called Sounds of the Underground. And up until this tour, that was the biggest thing we'd ever done. And that had to have helped, you know, get the word out to even more people than already knew about us. Um, just a number of things working together, really. We're on a, a good label that's pushing us well. We have good management. So it's just a lot of things put together. It's, and hopefully a large part of it doing well is because it's a good record. You know, that's our that's our part of it. Puzzle. Our piece of the puzzle is to make sure that we make the best music we can. We feel like it could be the best record we've ever done. So hopefully that's part of the reason it's doing so well. Well, it's definitely like somehow you made it even heavier than the last one and even more brutal. So it's how? something. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do, man? We just—I mean, we really love playing this kind of stuff and writing it. So um, it's. We put a lot of work into it, but it doesn't feel like work. You know, you're just you're in there and you're working on the songs, and jamming together. We, we practice together four days a week um, for several months in preparation for the album. So the songs are completely written by the time we go in the studio, and we have quite a bit of time to tweak them and everything and make sure everything's killer. So yeah, it's just we love doing this and we put a lot of work into it, but it doesn't seem like work because it's fun. Did you use a different producer on this one at all? No, actually we did the same we did for Kill. We used Eric Bertin again, same okay. studio and all that. So it was it was pretty much an identical kind of a session, other than you know some new equipment, some new ideas, you know, to tinker around with to, to make it even better than Kill. Nice. And uh, you know, so it was it was the same team on board, and uh, you know Eric did a great job on Kill, and uh, I think uh, Visceration Plague turned out even better. So Excellent. so we we went forward, which was good. So after Mayhem, are you guys working on any other tours after this one? Oh yeah, we got a lot going on actually. Yeah, um, for September we're going to Australia, which will be awesome. Nice. It's always killer to go down there. And then October we're headlining Europe with Dying Fetus and some other bands. So Excellent. that's something we're totally looking forward to as well. Then for November and December we're working on doing something else, you know, probably North America. It's too early to say anything at this point. You know, things are still being worked on, but um, we plan on touring the rest of the year. Very cool. Very cool. So next question is actually something Goldfinger started a few weeks ago with me. Is it Anchorman or Talladega Nights? Which one's better? <laughs> That's a tough call. That's a tough call. They're both different movies, but uh, I like Talladega Nights a lot. I'm going Anchorman. So, yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> so, awesome. I'm this much more Talladega. It's tough. This it's much a tough. More. It's a tough one to answer. That's a tough one to answer. It's a good one. And that's better one-liners, <laughs> yeah. but Talladega is yeah, solid. Is awesome. <laughs> well, right on, guys. Thanks so much for uh, Thank you very your much. time and uh, looking you. forward to the Thank show. You. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Awesome. This is Groovy with Colorado Music Buzz on Hollywood Music TV. Have a good one. Woo.